Hi guys, there were some good speeches at the Labour Party conference and there were some great speeches. David Lammy had one of the latter. While the Tory conference last week felt insular in more ways than one, Labour's message from Lammy was about standing up and reaching out. He attacked the Prime Minister for staying at home when he should have been meeting with world leaders on issues like climate change. He said Labour would not abandon the Global South like the Tories have, and he said Britain would reach out to Europe, no doubt a nod to rejoiners. Have a listen to this. Today, the Conservatives are missing in action again. Last month, Rishi Sunak became the first Prime Minister in a decade to skip the UN General Assembly. And while world leaders gathered for Climate Week, Sunak stayed in London to row back on climate and make up nonsense about seven bins. Keir Starmer won't just turn up, he will stand up for Britain in the world. When the Tories betray our children on climate, we will stand up. When the Tories diminish Britain's influence, neglecting international development and the global south, we will stand up. When the Tories threaten to take us out of the European Convention on Human Rights, what will we do, conference? We will stand up. When the Home Secretary attacks LGBTQ plus refugees, what will we do? We will stand up. And when they say that we can't work closely with our friends in Europe anymore, what will we do, conference? We will. Because. Because Labour values do not stop at the English Channel. We are the party of internationalism, the party of Attlee and Bevin, NATO and the United Nations. Labour will reconnect Britain for our security and our prosperity because we know a strong Britain is not a lonely Britain, but a United Kingdom whose alliances give us strength. Wonderful speech. Um, and, you know, a contrast with what we heard from the Tories last week. Now, the main theme, of course, was that it's about standing up, standing up for Britain. And also that the, the Conservatives are missing in action, that they're not standing up for Britain. Now, a clever attack line was where he claimed that uh, Rishi Sunak was not engaging on the world stage, but hiding at home. And he gave a couple of examples there. Let me also contrast it what it will be a promise that Starmer instead will not just turn up, but will stand up, stand up for Britain. The Labour leader has already attended a number of events where he's met with world leaders. So uh, I think the, the photo ops there were really useful for the party. Um, the European Convention on Human Rights, that was an interesting angle, because I would imagine that internal polling has showed that the British people don't support leaving or abandoning the convention. Which begs the question, why do the Tories think it's a vote winner? You, know, you have Reform UK, which the Tories are chasing, and they're banging on about, you know, we need to leave the European Convention on Human Rights in order to stop the votes, to stop immigration. It's, we're not getting a real Brexit unless we leave the European Convention on Human Rights. Actually, you don't leave the Convention, you leave the Council of Europe. But finally, thank, it's thankfully that uh, we have someone like Lamy. He's... Uh, He's passionate about what he's talking about, and he's able to transfer that passion. Um, he also mentioned about standing up for refugees. Now, I'm not sure what he meant by uh, this, because Suella Braverman will be gone <laughs> when he highlighted her, um, because you know we haven't heard a lot from the Labour Party when it came to refugees, and they have been talking about cracking down on instead on gangs and not standing up for the rights of, of asylum seekers and refugees. So hopefully that's going to change when they're in government, that they're going to move back to the left and not continue the, to follow the Tories to the right on the issue of immigration. It was a wonderful speech. Uh, it's great to hear from David Lammy. He's a real firebrand, and I think he's an asset for the Labour Party.
Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.